some of the etiquettes of salah or the prayer. Salah is a great act of worship. In it, a Muslim faces Allah, the exalted, with his mind and body. It is therefore necessary for him to prepare himself for it by taking care of some particular etiquettes, the most important one being sincerity, due to Allah saying, and they were commanded not, but that they should worship Allah and worship none but Him alone, abstaining from ascribing partners to Him, and perform salah and give zakah, and this is the right religion. Another etiquette one should take care of is to perfect one's ablution, as the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Should I direct you to that which Allah cleanses away sins and raises ranks? They replied, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Wetting perfectly all prescribed parts of the body in ablution during unpleasant conditions, such as cold weather, making several steps or walking to the mosque, and waiting for another prayer after observing one, and that is ribat. It is also a sunnah to go early to perform the prayer, to receive the blessings of waiting for the prayer, which the Prophet peace be upon him advised us about in his words. Each of you is already in salah or the prayer, whenever he arrives early waiting for salah. While he is waiting for the prayer, he should keep himself busy by saying the words of remembrance, supplications and recitation of the Qur'an, but without disturbing other people who have come to pray as well. Also the one who leaves his home or work to pray should remember Allah when going to the mosque by saying, Allahumma ja'al fi qalbi nooran wa fi lisani nooran wa ja'al fi sam'i nooran wa ja'al fi basari nooran wa ja'al min khalfi nooran wa min amami nooran wa ja'al min fawqi nooran wa min tahti nooran Allahumma a'tini noora meaning O oh Lord bring into my heart light and to my tongue light and in my ears light, and in my sight light, and behind me light, and before me light, and above me light, and below me light. O oh Lord, grant me light. Similarly, he remembers Allah when entering or leaving the mosque by saying, أعوذ بالله العظيم وبوجهه الكريم وسلطانه القديم من الشيطان الرجيم The meaning of which is, I seek refuge in Allah, the Most Great, by His generous face and by His long-lasting power from Satan, the outcast. Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Allahumma ftahli abwa rahmatik. The meaning of which is, in the name of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon the Messenger of Allah. O oh Allah, open the doors of Your mercy for me. And when leaving the mosque, he says, Bismillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Allahumma inni as'aluka min fadlik. Allahumma, Allahumma asimni min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. The meaning of which is, In the name of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon the Messenger of Allah. O oh Allah, I ask for your favor. O oh Allah, protect me from Satan the outcast. Another etiquette is to walk calmly with tranquility when going to the mosque. This is due to the saying of the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him. When you hear the iqama, meaning the call to commence the prayer, then walk, meaning to the mosque, to observe the prayer. But walk with tranquility and calmness and do not be hasty. Any part of the prayer being observed you meet that others are praying in congregation, you should pray, and afterwards complete what you missed. And also another etiquette that the person should perform before praying is that he should not sit down in the mosque until he has performed two raka'ahs. This is due to the saying of the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. When one of you enters the mosque, let him pray two raka'ahs before sitting down. Similarly, 
he should avoid intertwining his fingers. This is taken from the saying of the Prophet, May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. When any of you performs ablution and performs it perfectly, then left to pray, heading to the mosque, he should not interlock his fingers because he is already in a state of prayer. One of the most important etiquettes that one should try to achieve is to be humble in the prayer, and this is the heart and soul of prayer. This is because prayer without humility and devoutness is like a dead body without a soul. As well as all that has been said, the person should also adhere to the manners of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, throughout the prayer. Prayer is a form of worship for which upholding the manners of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, is compulsory. So what the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, did not do or say, must not be done or said. This is because the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Pray as you saw me pray. 